What's up guys, my name is Elias. Now having a good conversion rate can either make or break your Shopify success. So in today's video, we are going to go over five different actionable steps, which you can take to actually improve your conversion rate. Now, as always, I don't have any special upsells. I don't have any special conversion rate courses to sell to you. So I'm also not going to withhold any information. Let's get started. So let's first of all get started with the actual most obvious way of improving your conversion rate. However still, it is super important to get the fundamentals right to then later on build on that. Now the majority of visitors are going to decide if they do want to buy something within the first couple of seconds visiting your online store. So having an overall good looking professional online store with decent loading speeds is going to be crucial. Now, with that being said, I already made tons of tutorials going over exactly that. I will leave you a link to those tutorials down below to watch after this video. Now, it is going to be completely normal that your store isn't going to be perfect right away. However, still make sure to choose a good looking theme depending on your niche and then make sure to maybe also dive into custom page builders like gem pages or pagefly if you do want to. However, it is also super important to actually include and leverage social proof inside your Shopify store. Because 92% of consumers actually feel hesitant to buy something if there are no customer reviews available. And the average online shopper does actually expect to see at least 112 reviews for a product. Now, having a good system in place is going to be crucial. My app of choice would be Luke's. I will also leave you a link to it down below. However, there are also tons of other apps that are going to do more or less the same things. It is just going to be important that your app of choice has a good looking product review widget and also has a backend system in place that is going to automatically send out emails to actually remind your customers of leaving a review. And in my opinion, Luke's just does this the best way possible. One quite unknown, but actually also super easy way of improving your conversion rate would be through offering product combinations for both low as well as high performing products. Now you can then basically bundle these two together and you can then give out a discount for this bundle. And like this, you are going to actually drive sales because you have those high performing products in there, but you are actually also going to boost the revenue of those low performing products. Now, actually doing the whole research for this and looking at the margins, discounts and so on, this can be quite complicated. Hence the partner of today's video, Needle. Now Needle is actually going to automatically analyze all of the data inside your store and based on the data, they're then going to give you action points on how to actually improve your product view rate, add to cart rate, marketing spend, and much more. Now Needle, in my opinion, just generally is a great way of actually streamlining your Shopify success because Needle will actually also connect to all of the different platforms out there like Shopify, WooCommerce, all of the ad platforms, Klaviyo and so on. And based on the data, you're then going to get a rundown and you are going to see all of the different ways to actually improve your store. Now, you can actually try out Needle for completely free by using the code Krause Shopify, which is going to grant you access to free credits worth $75. And a lot of the idea creation for this exact video has been done using Needle. The next step would be email marketing. Now email marketing can actually help you both with your conversion rate, but also with improving your returning customer percentage. Now before we can actually do email marketing, we will have to first of all get the email of our potential customers and of our customers. Now to get the email of our potential customers, we can actually implement something like a newsletter and in return for signing up, we could then for example give out a special discount to all of our subscribers. On the other hand, for already customers, we are either way going to get the email contact once someone is going to purchase something, so we can then actually also use this. Now, actually, if we are going to talk about potential customers, we can implement what we call an abandoned cart sequence. Now with these sequences, if someone has put something in their cart but hasn't proceeded to actually buy the product, you can then actually remind that exact customer to actually proceed to the checkout. Now this can actually significantly improve your conversion rate to up to 7% which is pretty mind blowing. However, it doesn't just stop there. We are also going to have the option to actually send out what we call email campaigns. So basically emails promoting a different kind of product or a collection, for example. 
Now, you can actually do this to promote, for example, new products, but also just products which you generally have on your store. And once again, Needle can actually help you with that by analyzing the customer behavior. And because of their seamless integration with Klaviyo, the number one Shopify-based email marketing tool, you can actually also create full-on tailored email marketing campaigns just within a few clicks inside Needle. However, the good thing is that unlike at most other services, on Needle, a human is actually going to double check your newsletter to make sure it doesn't look like AI and to actually make sure that it is going to meet your brand identity. Upsells is also a term which gets thrown around quite a lot when talking about improving the conversion rate. Now, there are a lot of different ways of actually implementing upsells on your store, like for example card upsells, post purchase upsells, then we also do have email upsells and much more. Generally speaking, the ones that I like the most would be normal post purchase upsells. These would be upsells which are after a person actually has proceeded to checkout and has actually paid for a a product and then they are going to have a one-click upsell option to either just buy more quantity of that exact product or to buy other products which are similar to the product which that person bought. My app of choice for this is going to be Aftersell and Aftersell does actually also have a policy in place where they are going to guarantee you guys a positive ROI which means you are going to get a refund if you are going to have to pay more for Aftersell than you are going to make in return. Now you can actually also improve implement card upsells and these generally work great because you can for example display something like $30 until free shipping, $50 until a free gift and so on. But generally speaking the upsell that I prefer are going to be one purchase upsells just because from my experience these tend to have the highest conversion rates possible. However if you do want to also create card upsells you can use tools like Upcard and they are also affiliated with Aftersell so you can just try them out if you do want to. Thank you for watching. If you do want to try out Needle for completely free, you can do so by using the link down below and by using the code Krause Shopify.